Hello children, welcome to our online classes. Today, again we will discuss the next part of our third chapter that is teeth and microbes. In the last lesson, I mean in the last period, I told you about the importance of teeth and their types. Once again, I will just give you a quick revision. So, that is the teeth are the important part of our mouth. They help us to cut and help us to chew up the food. They also help us to speak clearly. Now, there are two sets of teeth. Milk teeth and permanent teeth. Milk teeth begin to grow at the age of 6 to 8 months and they are usually 20 in number. They begin to fall when you are when a child is about 6 years old and in its place child develops a set of permanent teeth. They are 32 in number. Now all the teeth are not similar. They all are different in their size and shape and their function. They are, there are four types of different teeth in our, in our mouth. They are incisors, canines, premolars and molars. And their number is also fixed. Incisors are total 8 in number, canines are 4, premolars are 8 and molars are 12. They both are distributed in upper jaw and lower jaw. And they all are having different function. Now, today we will learn about the structure of the teeth. Means how is our, see, how the teeth are. Or I can also say structure of a tooth. I will first tell you a single tooth structure how it is made see now the photo, the picture of a tooth is like that is seen in the in this slide right on the top the top portion is known as crown while the lower one is known as root so these are the two main parts of our tooth upper one crown lower one root now part above the that is above the gum that is known as crown gum means you know the pink uh, muscles that are seen in the, in our mouth that is that are called gums so the to, the portion that is above the gum is the crown and lower part is known as the root that is inside the gum that we cannot see but upper one we can see and on the crown, the outer layer which is seen, which is usually white in color, that is known as enamel. What it is known? It is known as enamel. Now the root that is inside the gum, they hold the tooth firmly in its place. You see our tooth are very tight inside. They don't, they don't move. Isn't it? So why? Because the root of, of the tooth, it, it helps its, it firmly in its place. It hold, it uh, hold the tooth firmly in its place, just like the roots of a plant. You know, na, uh, root plant also have the roots. So roots, what does roots do? They, they hold the plant firmly in its place. Now we will see in detail in another slide see here so the outer portion of the crown i told you is known as enamel it is usually white in color now beneath the enamel is the layer of dentine the lower layer that is beneath the enamel is known as dentine and innermost innermost means inner to the dentine that portion of tooth is called the pulp, right? Then down is the bone and the, there are also the nose and blood vessels. So deep inside the blood vessels are there and nose are there inside the, but outside you can see the enamel of the 
स्टेट दैट इज यूजली व्हाइट इन कलर नाउ वंस आई टोल्ड यू द परमनंट टीथ आर फॉर अवर लाइफ लॉन्ग सो यू यू मस्ट टेक अ गुड केयर ऑफ परमनंट टीथ वंस परमनंट टीथ फॉल आउट न्यू टीथ विल नॉट ग्रो इन इन इट्स प्लेस मिल्क टीथ वेन दे वेन दे फॉल यू गेट अ न्यू परमनंट टीथ बट आफ्टर परमनंट टीथ यू विल नॉट गेट एनी अदर टीथ इन इट्स प्लेस so you have to take good care of your permanent teeth and it is so it is very important that you take care of your permanent teeth now how you will take care of your permanent teeth see you should always rinse your mouth after eating you should also brush your teeth daily in the morning and before you go to bed means twice daily you should brush your teeth now what happens whenever you eat what happens whenever you eat the small particles of your food they get stuck in the teeth and if you don't rinse your mouth properly the bacteria means the germs will start getting feeding on that that stuck food in your mouth and they will produce some kind of acid that acid will damage your tooth how it will damage it will form a cavity in them cavity means it will form a small hole on the tooth that cavity if you don't take care of that cavity in time that will be, uh, become bigger and bigger and then it will it will hurt you the tooth will start aching and it will hurt you it will also give you a false smell means bad smell from your mouth so it is very important that after you eat anything you should rinse your mouth carefully nicely with water and so that there are no food particles that are stuck in your mouth you see the picture is shown how it is damaging the uh, your tooth look here hmm. see here germs produce substance called acids which harm the enamel your top portion of the tooth that is called enamel that is being harmed by the acids which which are produced when you don't rinse your mouth properly which is produced if the food stuck a uh, food stuck in your mouth is acted upon by bacteria small holes called cavities then form on your teeth and as germs continue to attack teeth the cavities become bigger and deeper if the cavity which is the pulp the tooth start hurting then it is very uh it is very hurting and very painful for you so you should take care that you rinse your mouth properly another things see here you should always uh brush your teeth nicely and also you should clean your tongue nicely with a tongue cleaner see here brushing how you should brush your teeth it is given in the picture you should you should use your brush up and down in your mouth see and in every every teeth uh, every tooth every part of your mouth should get clean with the help of the brush so you should brush regularly after you wake up and before you go to bed you should also clean your tongue with a tongue cleaner after brushing your teeth another important thing you should do to take care of your teeth is you should avoid sweets sweets means you should not eat more than more chocolates and cadburys ice creams and cold drinks also you should not drink much then only your teeth will be healthy and instead of that what you should do you should drink lot of milk eat eggs and leafy, leafy vegetables if you eat nicely all these things then your teeth will always be healthy and you will not get any toothache or you will not get any cavity 
you should also change your toothbrush when the bristles get spoiled you should means every month or every two months you should always change your toothbrush so we need to we need to take care of our teeth regularly so once again i'll give you some tips how you should take care of your teeth every time you eat you should rinse your mouth nicely with water okay why because some food particles may get stuck in your mouth and the bacteria in the mouth will feed on it will produce acid and will make a cavity in your tooth and it will hurt you and damage your tooth so it is very important that you rinse your mouth every time you eat anything yes then brush your teeth twice daily once when you wake up in the morning and before you go to bed at night right then you should also clean your tongue with tongue cleaner after brushing your teeth it will also remove the bad smell from your mouth then you should also massage your gums with your clean fingers you know the massage with brush you should not do you should do it with a clean finger massage your gums nicely and you should also floss your teeth after each meal okay to remove food particles then you should avoid eating sweets cadbury's ice cream mm -hmm. chocolates and cold drinks as they will damage your teeth you should avoid all these things from eating instead you should eat you should eat green leafy vegetables lots of fruits eggs and drink plenty of milk so that that they will keep your teeth healthy yes and you should also go for a dental checkup for your to your dentist regularly you should have your teeth checkup that is your dentist uh, you should go to your dentist for your teeth checkup dental checkup so you should do all these things to take good care of your teeth so i hope you will remember all these thing and you will take care of your teeth in our next class we will do more of this lesson until then take care and bye